Welcome to navigating Netweaver Business Client. Once we enter our credential, we find ourselves on this screen. To the left is statistical panel. To the right, it links to our current to our work centers, and on top of that is the index page which we want to go. And below it is the traditional SAP GUI view, if you prefer that view. So we go ahead and click on the index page, which is our main page in Netweaver Business Client. We can browse the transaction and reports by clicking on the work center bar. So we have here the transactions and here are the reports. Transactions and reports open in new tabs and pay attention that there is a limitation for the number of tabs we can open at once. I believe it's eight tabs. If we click overview of the work center title we will be taking it up to a process flow chart of the organization which helps us understand where we are in the whole business process. So this works if you click on the sales overview or if you click on the text of the work center. Then the navigational panel. The navigation panel is to the top right left side as you can see here. And it helps us view transactions and reports in the same work center providing us with navigation flexibility. So it shows us reports and transactions that are relative to this work center that we're in. As we see it opens in a new window. To the other side is sidebars, and sidebars contain extra information such as how to execute a transaction. Also illustrated in video format. It also includes relative graphs that would support the end user. For example, in this mark, if we go to the marketing expense planning and we go to the sidebar and we choose market revenue, this rev this we have a market revenue heat chart which tells us which products are not generating a lot of revenue. So we might choose to spend more on marketing on these. The side panel will stay the same will stay where you left it off so if I go here I'll find the side panel where I left it off and back here the side panels where I left it off so you can view critical information at a click now for the favorites bar you can custom save transactions and reports pertaining to your role so you can create a shortcut to marketing expense so we add marketing expense to our favorites as well as our market report we can add it to our favorites and we simply click on the plus sign and the transaction report that we are on will get added to the, to the favorites bar This way we can find out what is not sell what is not selling a lot and we can also spend on this marketing by monitoring these report and transaction. Finally for the search bar, the search bar we can also navigate by typing the name. So here we have marketing expense planning or by report price market report. and we can go directly to that transaction. We can also enter by code, so VK32 is conditional change of prices. And here we reach the total maximum number of windows that we can open at once. So what we were doing is we were entering the code. 
So VK32 is the code for changing prices. And then we need to take in directly to changing the prices. For the financial overview, this is a new add-on to the the financial new the financial view is a new add-on that if we click on finance will show us a breakdown of what we have spent, what we have gained, expenses, cost of goods sold, and what is our net income. This is a more visual way of knowing what our expenses and profits and revenue expenses and revenue are. So it helps us know exactly where we stand within our cash cycle. To recap, we talked about logging on, we've seen the home page, we've seen the navigational panel, the sidebar, the favorites bar, the search bar, and we talked about opening multiple windows as well as the financial overview.